this one on the right's getting a bump. Let's see what this rod's doing on the outside. He's still hitting it. He's hitting it. He's going down with it. There's no, uh, very little rod transfer. All right, let go of it. I hit it again. Hit it again. He, he's popping it. He's going down with it now. These other rods aren't even moving. Oh, he's getting a hit on that one. Yeah. That middle one's getting hit now. Right there. Ain't even moving. He's bam he's bamming that one. Look at that. And starting to shake that rod just a little now, but look what he's doing. <laughs> you got that thing bowed up. Very little movement transferred across. Pull down him again, he's still on there. I think there's one on this other one too, yeah. This outside pole. There he goes, he's hammering down on that again. Pole's not even moving right there. Now it's starting to shake, but look what he's doing. He got it off in the water. It's in the water right there. Pole ain't even moving. Look at that guys. Look at him, he's in the water with us. In the water. Start to get a little transfer, but he got it buried up in the water in order to get that. Yeah. That's my new locking system on the T bar, 7 16 inch rod holder at a time. This, guy, this system's got a half inch shaft. Let me back it up. The system's got a half inch shaft that runs down through the middle castle nut tightens it down to the deck plate if you want to remove the system you just take that castle nut off and everything comes apart and you can individually take your rod holders off it also let me take care of this fish elite rod holders .com.